we got 36 orders going out for a total of $842. Uh, that is gross, but hey, let's get it, guys. What's going on, everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. Today is the 4th of July. So first of all, happy 4th. Happy Independence Day. Happy America's birthday and all that jazz. Um, orders don't have to go out today. There's 36 of them that need to be pulled. I'm just going to pull the orders now and get ahead of the game uh, for tomorrow. Because tomorrow I also have to film a what so or a day in the life video. And it just gets to be a lot when I try to pile in too many tasks inside one day. So we're going to go ahead and jump into these items, guys. Really hope you guys have great sales today. I'm doing decent starting off the day with like 80-something bucks in sales so far. Um, so we'll see how it goes, and I'll keep you guys posted in tomorrow's video. Okay, guys. Vintage uh, Russell Athletic Tag. Um, is that Russell? I don't know if that's Russell, actually. Vintage blank sweatshirt, though, guys. Yeah, it's a vintage Russell tag. Uh, sold for $22. Just a plain Jane basic uh, crew neck sweatshirt. And it has a stain on it, too. Sold for $22.50. So make sure you guys are picking up vintage tags. Um, a lot of them can go for pretty average money. Um, by average, I mean like $22. So that's not a bad sale in my book for something that everybody's passing up on. This is a Panama Canal Railway uh, company. I guess it's like either some type of tourist attraction or like a railway car or something like that uh, that's converted into some type of something. Uh, if you guys like do traveling of any sorts, like RVing or um, you just go on uh, trips quite a bit, make sure you guys are picking up stuff from those destinations if you do reselling, you know what I mean? Um, chances are you do reselling if you're watching this channel, but you can flip that stuff, guys. Yellowstone National Park, National Park stuff like that sells really well. Just anything that's a popular attraction, the memorabilia can be uh, something that you guys can sell. I wouldn't be paying like uh, super high prices for this stuff because you're not gonna get a lot of money off of it um, based off of uh, resale value. But if you can manage to get that stuff, wear it for a couple years or whatever, get your money back out of it after flipping it, then it's totally worth the investment. So don't go buying brand new stuff and then trying to get brand new prices for it on eBay. That's not how eBay works. Um, Amazon maybe, but not on eBay. The Panama Canal Railway shirt sold for $8.40. Um, by the way, sorry about that, guys. The American Eagle hoodie right here is uh, just a full zip American Eagle hoodie. Nothing special. Uh, sold for $20. Men's Express button-up shirt sold for six bucks. The boy got them hands, man. Y'all see that mid-air catch, man? Skill, boy. So I was asked by a viewer of the channel to not put music in the video. What do you guys think about music in the videos? Um, all the courses that you take for YouTube growth tell you to put music in the videos to help with uh, retention. Um, but this one person said that they have an auditory, some type of something or another. And I don't want to seem insensitive right now for forgetting what it was, but some type of um, some type of disorder. And the music makes it hard to understand what I'm saying. So let me know down in the comment section below if you guys think videos with music are better or videos without music are better. Um, and let me know. Um, if it's going to bother you if I put video, I'm not going to put any music in this video as a sample run, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Anyway, these shorts sold for, and I don't know what they are, Wrangler shorts sold for nine bucks. Gap pants sold for six bucks. I actually thought these were listed a lot longer than they had been. So when somebody sent me the offer for it, I just blindly accepted it because I was out at the bench yesterday. And I just accepted the order without looking, but that's my bad. Um, it is what it is. This person bought two Carhartt shirts from me. And I kind of feel bad, man. I mean, but people choose to do this. Um, two Carhartt shirts. These are used and stained. And they paid eleven twenty five a piece. And then paid $31 total for both of them. Not together. $31 each because they're international so i get on someone else's website on 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 
on eBay and I look up brand new Carhartt shirts, brand new Carhartt shirts. These ain't vintage either. These are just used Carhartt shirts, stains, holes, thrashed, torn up looking. So for eleven twenty five a piece, when they could have bought brand new Carhartt shirts for eighteen bucks, uh, I don't understand why somebody would want to. I mean, it just goes to show you, man. We don't understand why people do what they do. Thirteen one six seven, and I think the cheapest they could have got was um, twelve bucks. Twelve bucks for a brand new one. Thirteen one six seven. Lo and behold, they bought mine. Here's one of them. What's the other one? Thirteen one six seven. Then we got fourteen zero zero seven. Fourteen zero zero seven. Two Carhartt shirts, thirty-one dollars a piece after taxes and shipping. It's crazy, boy. That goes to show you guys to pick up the same items. Um, inside of the Patreon, Bo Johnson and I run. We practice this and we preach this, picking up the same types of items over and over and over again. If it's sold once for you, it will sell again for you. Case in point. Vintage Russell tag, blank sweatshirts, sell well for me. Carhartt shirts, sell well for me. So I'm gonna keep picking those up. T-shirts in general, sell good for you, boy. Look, here's another blank sweatshirt. I don't think that one's blank. But still, you know, like you gotta pick up what sells for you. You gotta work what works for you. Uh, inside of the Patreon, we have guides, item specific book that Bo Johnson wrote himself. <laughs> totally crazy. And then we have uh, work. Uh, we have a spreadsheet that we offer for you guys for free. We have nine hours of coaching inside of this uh, inside of this Patreon as well. Um, there's the Discord, private access to us all day long, um, to where we can answer any questions that you guys have about your reselling business, as well as 44 other experienced members that can help you guys in a lot of different ways, more than you can think. So, um, if you guys are considering growing your reselling business to six figures which is our dream for you is to reach six figures in a year um let's do it come on over there's a seven day free trial we like to help you guys reach your goals if you feel that it's not for you you can cancel if you feel that it is for you and it's a good fit it's just a dollar a day after that guys you come on man you can afford a dollar you spend money on starbucks what every single day of the week so um yeah come on over there join us let us help you out and uh hopefully we'll see you guys inside the discord this is a Paris Saint Germain soccer team. It's uh, obviously it's a French soccer team. It's just a tank top though, not a jersey. Sold for thirteen fifty. Miami Hurricanes hoodie sold for twenty bucks. This is a Nike U.S. Uh, soccer team or soccer, yeah, U.S. soccer team polo shirt sold for fifteen bucks. This is another blank sweatshirt item. This is just a blank Russell, vintage Russell tag, uh, sold for $13. Obviously, it was sold for more if it was men's, but still, even women's blank vintage Russell tag stuff sells, guys. Don't sleep on this stuff. I was asked in the last video how I consolidate this inventory or how this SKU system works. Um, I've gone over it in several videos, but I don't remember which videos it is. So I'm just gonna give you a brief rundown real fast. So let me just start with the oldest shelf. These items right here start with number zero, 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 one. So one all the way down to whatever's in that box, right? Then the next box starts with 422. Let me come down lower. So each box goes in order, 22, 45, 24, 64, 28, 29, 31, 32, 34. And I consolidate all the boxes from the bottom over, and then I'll keep moving over and up. So this bottom box, once it's consolidated all the way down, will end up over there. So. For instance, this empty space right there will get this item moved behind it, All right? So I'm trying to do this with one hand. 
But so now this this item that was right here goes in this box. And I'll do the same thing for each box that has space in it. So whatever has space in it, these items go behind it. And as this box gets emptied, I'll pull it off the shelf. I start with that box. I smash everything towards the front end of the box. Put whatever's in the front end of this box in the back end of that box. And I do that for the whole inventory system till the boxes get emptied. And I don't reuse any SKU numbers. The SKU system goes from one to infinity. It never ends. I reuse the boxes. I don't reuse the bags. I don't reuse the numbers. These items get shipped to the buyer just like this. It's easy for storage. It keeps rodents or whatever things out of it because this is in a basement and before I was in storage units, storage units are not weatherproof. They're not insect proof. Um, so I just feel it's best to bag my items. You guys can get any of these supplies on Amazon or you can use my links in the description you can get a, you know, help your boy out with a little kickback on your purchase. Uh, but you don't need my links, guys. Just go to Amazon and buy them if you want to. Um, but if you want to show support, you can use my links. Anyway, hopefully that is clear enough in such a rushed uh, explanation. But I got to get back to pulling these orders. Now, this right here is why I don't recommend using these cheap shelves. These shelves right here, are super durable, right? these shelves right here wimpy like a uh, walmart grocery bag you know now the thing got the gangster lean straight tragic status this is real life though you know what i mean like well what am i gonna do you know what i mean uh this show must go on 15 2 1 2 at least I ain't got to use no ladder to climb up there anymore. Well, 15212. Polo Ralph Lauren shirt sold for $10. If you guys are going to buy or use this inventory system, get these shelves, guys. Like, I'm literally standing and jumping on this right now. And uh, I would never attempt that with these. These are the first ones that I bought though. You know, actually that's the first one I bought. I bought this one after buying all these cause it was cheaper and I needed a shelf on the fly. Never again, 15, four, five, three. 15, four, five, three. Abercrombie and Fitch shorts. Uh oh, these sold for 10.50. These Abercrombie and Fish sweatpants sold for $14. <clears throat> What's next on the list? Hollister button up 15608. It's going to get challenging at some point getting in these boxes because the bottom row is smashed. 15608 is sold for 10 bucks. Vintage Guest Jane sold for. 15 bucks probably could have sold for more if they were not women's jeans but i also took an offer what we got here 16401 u.s army u.s army shirt this sold for 11.25 then we got this shirt i've never heard of this before 16.590 it's a bar stool uh bar stool sports 590. It's actually, it's actually stained, but I probably could have asked a little more for it. But it's got like a bar stool. Um, I assume it's got something to do with like drinking or something like that. Someone let me know in the comment section if you guys actually know what the brand represents. That shirt sold for 10 bucks. These Levi's 511. I love picking up Levi's guys. So for so for 20 bucks. Wild Turkey shirt. For some reason I had a lot of offers on this shirt. All of them were really, really low. I had the price at 20 bucks. Finally I accepted an offer for ten dollars, which is still fairly low. 17 1701. That don't look like it. Oh, this is 16, no wonder. Duh. 
17. You guys ever do stuff like that? 1701 Wild Turkey shirt says, Give them the bird. Wild Turkey bourbon. Calvin Klein button up shirt. Got this from the bins uh, on Monday. Sold for $11.25. True Religion jeans. These jeans right here, man. I got them listed for 50 bucks, right? Now I know that they could have gone for 50. They've got like this little tent to them. See how they look dirty? That's how they're made, right? They're just made to look like really grungy. Anyway, I listed them for 50 bucks. You know, fair price for True Religion jeans. And then I immediately started getting lowball offers after lowball offers. I sent, no, I accepted a $35 offer. The buyer then messaged me and asked me if I could do $25. And I'm like, bro, you already sent the offer. You know what I mean? Like, why send an offer for something that you're not going to pay? Then he says, oh, sorry, that was my little brother. I can do $25. I'm on a low budget. And so, so like, that's clearly obviously a lie, right? You know, like, that's not your little brother. Because then why are you still trying to offer $25 bucks for him? Anyway, so... Long story short, the guy kept messaging me, kept messaging me, kept messaging me, and then was like, kind of like throwing shots at me that I wouldn't accept his $25 offer. So eventually I just ignored that guy. I ended up getting another offer from someone else for $25. I counted with $35 on that one. Uh, they didn't accept it. And then finally yesterday, somebody just, uh, I sent 25% off offers for, you know, my offers for the day like I normally do. So that brought the price down to $37.50. And then someone counted at 35 and they had lots of feedback. So I just went ahead and sold it to them. They paid right away $35 for those true religion jeans. This right here is something we all need to be on the lookout for. My family makes flannels, guys. Dixon Flannel Company. Uh, no, I'm just playing because somebody out there is going to like really take me serious. But this is a Dixon flannel with two X's. My last name only has one. Uh, these flannels are supreme bolo right here. Uh, I found this Monday at the bins, so a week ago from yesterday, and this sold yesterday while I was at the bins sourcing for $75. I was not the lowest price on there. I priced right at the market. There was guys selling these for $30 on there, and mine still sold at $75, probably because of the good title structure that I use. If you guys don't know how to properly title your items, you should definitely join the Discord because that is something that you can start doing right now to change your listings uh, and start selling more items. A guy went, you know, what, two or three days without a sell inside the group. I helped him with some titles, helped him with some pricing, and he made two sales that day. There was another guy inside of our Discord. Title structure was not his problem. He's been rocking with us for over a month now, um, but he had two or three days two or three days with no sales and then made 13 sales in one day his biggest sales day ever so that discord is really helping people grow their businesses but title structure is key you can get that knowledge for free on Bo and my channel you just got to sort through some content i can't specify which video i've gone over it in because i've gone over it in all of them almost so uh really check some of those videos out or join the discord Greg Norman, Moisture Wicking Golf Shorts, sold for $12.75. Surprisingly, those sold extremely fast. Um, like, just a couple days. Nike Golf Pullover. Did they sell to the same guy? Nope. 17353 This sold extremely fast as well. Um, this sold for $12. Stadium Giveaway St. Louis Cardinals shirt um, sold for... $12. How do you guys say Cardinals? Do you say Cardinals or Cardinals? I heard someone say the Cardinals and we had a good old laugh about it. But if you're from Missouri, you definitely call it Cardinals. No I. Under Armour shirt sold for four bucks. This thing's been listed for like well over a year. American Eagle short sold for six bucks. Those usually sell for more like $25 for me. But uh those sat around for such a long time they got marked down so, this is a charter club skirt so for 11.25 i don't pick up charter club that came in a bulk buy another item that came in the same bulk buy is a vintage massimo shirt so for 
six dollars all right guys the camera's gonna die so i gotta hurry up social standard shorts so for 12 bucks under armor hoodie kids so for 15 bucks nashville hoodie so for 13 13 rapid fire venetia skirt so for nine bucks and vintage nike jacket so for 11.25 that's going to do it for the rest of this video, guys. Got to get out of here. Got to get a show. Got to do a lot of things. And it's the 4th of July. That's going to do it. Catch you guys on the next one. Until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.